If you pour 5W20 instead of 5W30, you might just become an accidental rebel without a cause. See, oils are not just random goops of slime we toss in our engines. They're meticulously formulated viscosities that keep the modern marvels purring. They're the lifeblood during scorching summers and the anti-freeze agents during bone-chilling winters. Here's the kicker. That W with numbers front and back is more than a random label. It's a cold, hot tango, telling you how it behaves in extreme weathers. When you roll with 5W30, the 30 implies your oil is a bit thicker at operating temps than the 5W20, and manufacturers specify this thicker oil for a reason. It's all about optimal performance and protection. Using 5W20 can be like putting a marathon runner in a sprint race. Sure, they might finish, but they won't shine in a burst of speed. Engines designed for 5W30 might tolerate 5W20 without immediate damage, but you're flirting with danger, risking increased wear over time because the thinner oil can break down quicker under high heat conditions, especially in the big engine trucks. But let's not blow any gaskets quite yet. If this thin oil escapade was a one-time event and you're not planning on drag racing anytime soon, usually a gentle drive to the mechanic to do a proper oil swap might be all you need. Repeat after me. It's never too late to lubricate properly. If your manual says 5W30, then who are we to argue with the wizards of Cardom? Living in Portland, Oregon doesn't change the science, but it might give you a little leeway. Our temperate climate means we're not pushing our engines to the extremes that would make this a cardinal sin. Still, I'd switch it back as soon as possible. Why risk your pride and joy for a bit of the wrong goo? All in all, keep your car's blood type matched with what's recommended. Think of it as your silent guardian angel making sure your metal steed stays as sprightly as the day it left the lot. Don't cut corners on oil, because much like Portland's craft brews, the right blend makes all the difference.